Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, I'll be telling you about one of the frequently asked behavioral interview question for software testers. And this particular question you can expect in the client round or in the manager round. So let me share this question with you. So the question is, you have encountered a critical bug in the software just before the release deadline. How would you prioritize testing efforts to ensure that the bug is fixed without delaying the release? So such kind of scenario based questions you would always uh, you'll always get in the interviews, maybe in the manager round or in the client round. So it becomes very important that you assess this particular situation and you answer accordingly. Now, in order to, in order to help you with such kind of questions, I have created a digital product which is related to behavioral interview questions and this product has 10 nearly 10 questions as well as answers that will help you to understand these kind of questions and will also assist you to how to come up with the answers if such kind of questions are being asked and this product is available at a very nominal cost you can see 49 only and you would get a lot of idea once you purchase this particular product. So coming back to the question and let us see what kind of answer you can give. So if you get this kind of question, so you have to basically deal with all these four things. One is the bug details, then the data, risk analysis and the QA efforts. Now bug details. So first of all, whenever you get a critical bug, you have to identify the nature of the defect. Is that the defect? Is that a functional defect or is that a non-functional defect? Is it like happening on some particular OS or on some particular platform or maybe on some particular software or is it happening on everything? Is it something that uh, uh, one of the uh, maybe uh, you might say uh, non-admin users are facing those kind of issues or all the users including admin, non-admin, everyone is facing. So some websites have got some kind of user access role based permissions. You have admin role, you have non-admin role, you have super admin roles. So is the defect impacting each and every role, persona, permissions, all those things you have to assess. So, so in this, you have to deep dive about the defect, what this defect is about, what is the nature of that defect, right? That is very important. Then secondly, the data. Is it the data related issue? Now it might happen that it's a, in a banking domain, you are selecting one particular option of maybe mutual, fund, mutual funds and you are trying to uh, invest in that and that's the issue that's the point where you are actually getting the issue or maybe when you are trying to select mutual funds or stock market or whatever and every time you are getting some kind of issues so what kind of data is there what kind of uh, options you are selecting what kind of flow you have been doing which is why this particular issue is coming or maybe it might happen that your software has been migrated from let's say 2.x to 3.x the newer version it has been migrated from older version to a newer version with a lot of functionality changes with a lot of enhancement with a lot of change request and which is why now this particular issue is coming because of the backward compatibility right that also might happen that your current software is not compatible to the existing things or it might also happen that uh, uh, imagine you have uh, let's say some of the e-commerce application and in which you have already booked some of the products and you have added them to the cart. Now there are new products that have been added into the website, some new stores or some new particular products that have been added. When you add them to the cart, the existing products which were there in the cart, those are getting impacted. So there can be n number of reasons. So you have to come up, is it the data related issue? These two things, bug details and data, will help you out to find out what is the root cause of the issue. I'm not telling from the development perspective, you have to identify the line of the code from where this error is coming or to trace the exception which has been coming. But this is to give you an idea about the impacted areas. What would be the impact area? Because you would come to know, okay, is it a data related issue? Okay, I should create such kind of data so that I'm able to test this issue. Or maybe is this related to somebody or user persona or maybe some roles okay then i have to create such kind of roles i have to play with such kind of users and then i'll get this issue so such kind of things you have to understand and these two points would be very much helpful there third thing is about the risk analysis 
risk analysis means you would identify if fixing this would be a risk to the other features that are already there or it is fine what are the uh, next subsequences or consequences of happening once this issue is fixed okay would there be any impact on the stability of the feature or the functionality would there be any impact on the user experience so those all things you have to study and you have to analyze okay then the qa efforts so based on the impacted areas based on the effort that you have to put in based on your testing effort you would be giving your efforts that how much time would you need to get this fix tested and sign off without any kind of blocker or any kind of critical issue so completing test cases having 100 percent of test case coverage that is very important so those all things you would be putting in one particular maybe excel file or maybe one notepad and you'll figure out those things in with respect to mind map also you can create such kind of diagrams and you can come up with the solutions and then you can tell okay this is this is how much the time i would take so such kind of things are very necessary when you get these kind of questions so you have to explain all these things in an interview and as this is one of the behavioral interview question you have to answer in the form of star format so as i showed you the behavioral interview questions document is already present you can purchase it i'll be putting that particular link in the comment section of the video also in the description of the video you have to purchase the document in that we have also explained about the star approach so what is the situation what task you will do what action you will perform what is the result so those all things should be covered these are basically all your action items all these actions you would be performing the situation is maybe this is the question is itself a situation that you are encountering a critical bug in the software just before the release deadline You'll also communicate to your stakeholders. You'll also communicate to them that, see, we have found this particular issue in our morning. Maybe if he's a, a Canada-based or US-based client, then you have to explain in IST time zone, we had found this kind of issue and we are working towards this. Or if it is fixed, if it is fixed, then uh, what was the root cause and how much testing has been done? So those all things, it is very necessary. If you're in a product-based company, you have to be transparent with the uh, stakeholders. If you are in a service-based company, you have to be very much transparent with your client itself, right? So that's how you have to answer. And finally, you have to give the answer in the terms of result. What was the end result? So maybe you found this issue, you got it fixed. So there was some appreciation from the client side as well from the test manager side that the end time you found the issue and you came up with the testing as well. So testing was also completed on time. The critical bug was found in-house itself. Yes, in the retrospective meeting, you can always discuss why this issue was found in the last cycle, not earlier. So such kind of things you have to answer in the interview if this kind of question is asked to you with respect to behavioral interview questions for testers, right? So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates.